Welcome to the Revenge of the Show. First time here, thanks for coming by. Like and subscribe. I got up to 500 subscribers. I thought it was gonna take forever to get there, but anyway, keep on helping me by subscribing and liking all that good stuff. Anyway, I'm back. We're gonna a little bit of growth over here. A little bit under the weather. I, a little bit of something about myself. I got Crohn's, a big potato almost took me out. Anyway, damn. Big potatoes. Anyway, we're gonna do a review of these two. These are smaller versions of this. Well, I don't know if there's a big version of this. I know there's a bigger version of this out there, but we're gonna do these avatar kits. We're not kits. Uh, they are McFarland toys. So let's take a look at the price of these. I think I paid for it. It's over here. Not too bad. The bigger ones are about 40 bucks. So let's open this up and see what's up. Boxes compared to the size of a cat. And, uh, you know, so they're not so big. She's a small cat. We'll open this one up first. There we go. Bam. comes right out and that comes right out that's that's not bad so click well no click uh, rotor blades turn. Boom. Boom. Gun doesn't move at all. Cockpit doesn't open. And, uh, you know, do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> There you have that. Not quite in all the way. Bunch of rockets, missiles. Details not too bad. Uh, so that's that one. But now we shall open this one. So did you guys, uh, did you like the movie? I liked the movie, I thought it was okay. I'll give it like three stars. Um, the visuals kind of get, I just keep seeing them and seeing them, seeing them showing them sometimes in a movie, it's just like, you know, if you don't see it all the time, you kind of like it better, but it just goes in. Stuff all the time. There we go, there's this one's out. Gotta watch it. There's a little piece down here. You gotta cut that out. There you go. Now, does this move? Yeah, kind of moves around. The, the, all these are articulating arms. There's a fan in the back. It spins. There's a little guy in the front, which is kind of neat. This is a pretty neat little piece here. This one's really neat. There's, there's a bunch of detail on it. 
kind of like this one. Fingers, the fingers don't move. Well, they turn. You can turn them. They don't open or anything like that. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, okay, I see. This is a nice little touch. I was like wondering what the heck is going on with this one. So, like, I don't remember seeing a lamp post, uh, like an underwater city there. So you can take these little things, you can put them in there like that. And click this in. Which, which is not very easy, folks. It's in there, I guess. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's in there. So there you have it. That's kind of neat. So if I had to, you know, which I am going to do, I'm going to rate these. I'd rate this one at like uh, for the price. It's not bad, like a six. I, mean, I don't know where else you're gonna find something from Avatar like this. The ship in Avatar, pretty neat. If some of the other things did stuff on here, like if this gun, if this gun did something, but the gun just stays, doesn't do nothing. Uh, there's no stand for it. I really like this one. This one I'm giving, out of 11, mind you, I'm giving this one. Heck, I'm giving this one a 10. That's really a neat little piece. I love the fact that, you know, you, you, the arms move around a little bit. But it's really solid. The inside of it's really cool. Yeah, that's that's a nice piece. And I do like this little stand.